Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today's presentation is about history taking for syncope or collapse or fainting. Uh, part of the presentation for free medical courses. Uh, the definition of syncope is sudden brief loss of consciousness and postural tone with a spontaneous complete recovery. And this is a result from transient global cerebral hypoperfusion. Situational syncope is a syncope associated with specific activities like micturation, defecation, coughing, or swallowing. Syncope mimics is loss of consciousness that is either prolonged or doesn't result from cerebral hypoperfusion, uh, like seizures, hypoxia, and intoxication. Pseudo-syncope is syncope associated with psychiatric disease. Causes for syncope are many causes, starting with cardiac causes, and which is uh, either arrhythmia or organic heart disease. For arrhythmias, uh, uh, second and third degree heart blocks, sick sinus syndrome, bismaker malfunction, Brugada syndrome, trosadqua, ventricular tachycardia, and very fast supraventricular tachycardia. Organic heart disease like aortic stenosis, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, pulmonary embolism, pulmonary hypertension, atrial myxoma, myocardial infarction, and the critical coronary artery disease, pericardial tamponade, and aortic dissection. Other causes, uh, reflex mediated syncope like vasovagal syncope, situational syncope, carotid sinus. Uh, hypersensitivity. Orthostatic hypotension may be uh, may cause syncope, like uh, with volume loss or autonomic nervous system failure, like in Parkinsonism, multi-system uh, atrophy, multiple sclerosis, diabetes mellitus, amyloidosis, and spinal cord injuries. And many medications can cause orthostatic hypotension. There is also medication induced syncope psychogenic syncope or pseudo syncope and other causes for syncope like anemia, transient ischemic attacks and hypoglycemia. Medications that may be associated with syncope or pre-syncope, cardiovascular medications like beta blockers, vasodilators, uh, calcium channel blockers, ACE inhibitors, nitrate, antiarrhythmics, diuretics, and antihypertensives, clonidine and methyl dopa. Drugs that prolong QT interval may cause syncope, Antiarrhythmics like amiodarone, sotalol, and procanamide, antibiotics, uh, sabrofloxacin and levofloxacin, and clarithromycin or erythromycin, and psychotics like haloperidol, antidepressants like amitriptyline. Also, CNS medications like uh, phenothiazines, barbiturates, anti Parkinson drugs, anticonvulsants, narcotics, and benzodiazepine, and also ethanol. As a differential diagnosis for, syn for syncope, arrhythmia, usually with arrhythmia, there is family history of sudden death and symptoms usually occur during or after exertion. Uh, for obstructive cardiomyopathy, may be associated with shortness of breath, chest pain, palpitation, and syncope. For aortic stenosis, heart failure, syncope, angina with exertion. For acute myocardial infarction, also during exertion, there is chest pain, nausea, diaphoresis, shortness of breath. For carotid sinus hypersensitivity, head rotation or pressure on carotid sinus, uh, like during shaving or tight collar, can reproduce symptoms. Also, for situational syncope, is, uh, syncope usually uh, with prolonged standing, eating a meal, or voiding. Vasovagal syncope caused by stress, fear, anxious stimuli, or heat exposure. Psychogenic syncope, there is history of depression, anxiety, or panic attack. Orthostatic syncope occurs after standing up from sitting to standing up. Drug induced, usually, there is history of initiation or a change in dose of causative medication. For volume depletion, hypotension, tachycardia with history of volume or blood loss like during diarrhea, vomiting, poor intake, or GIT bleed. Then we'll go for this, uh, uh, starting the station itself for the history taking. We have the set or introduction. Uh, set or introduction of the usual steps. First, we'll start with greeting and introduce yourself and explain rule. Hi, I'm Dr. Hadidi, SHO of Internal Medicine. Then confirm patient details. So you are Mr. Muhammad and you are 43 years old, build good rapport, please have a seat, may I sit beside you and explain not taking, 
uh, if you don't mind, I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential. Agree the agenda. I have received a letter from your GP stating that you have fainting attack. Is it right? For uh, second part, which is the dialogue, start with the present history and presenting complaint. Can you describe for me everything you remember about what happened? Have you collapsed or slept? Is it your first attack? Have this ever happened before? At what time of the day the collapse occurred? And then go uh, for the main part of the history taking, uh, uh, which is analysis of the presenting complaint. And we will do analysis for the presenting complaint by dividing it before the attack, during the attack, and after the attack. For before the attack, was it suddenly with no warning signs? Or uh, were there any warning signs before the collapse, like lightheadedness, dizziness, or shortness of breath? Did you feel fast or irregular heartbeats before the collapse in arrhythmia? Did you feel sick or sweaty before you lost consciousness, like vasovagal? Did you notice any unusual smells or taste prior to lo losing consciousness? Did you notice any twitching or weakness or your arms, uh, uh, legs, or face prior to losing consciousness like vertebrobasilar TIM? What were you doing before the collapse or before the faint? Standing up from setting orthostatic hypotension, strong emotions, fear, prolonged standing, vasovagal, during a cough, sneezing, defecation, micturation, situational syncope. Was there any obvious trigger that preceded your loss of consciousness, like shaving or tight collars and sudden turning of the head? This is carotid sinus hypersensitivity. Physical exertion, in like in cardiovascular syncope, aortic stenosis, of, or arrhythmia, working with arms elevated above the head. This is subclavian steel syndrome. Did the episode occur with sudden neck movement or locking up or with pressure on the neck? This is carotid sinus syncope again. Also, before the attack, do you have repeated diarrhea, frequent urination, or recurrent vomiting? This is volume depletion, which might cause orthostatic hypotension. Do you have black tar stool, bloody stool, or bloody vomiting? This is also hypostatic hypotension, orthostatic hypotension. Do you pass out with changes in position, like in atrial myxoma? Does your collapse occur during a migraine attack in basilar artery migraine? Do your episode occur within one hour of eating meals in postprandial hypotension? Did the episode occur during heavy exercise? Usually, this is a cardiac disease. During the attack itself, do you remember what happened? Was there anyone beside you witness? beside you during the collapse? Do you lose your consciousness? Do you know for how long? How long did the episode last in total? Did your muscle appear stiff or flaccid during the episode? Was your color changed during the episode for blue or for pale? Did you injure yourself? Did you bite your tongue? Did you wet yourself? Have you had any jerking movement of your limbs or face? Has anyone seen an episode and uh, noticed jerking movement? Have you recovered spontaneously after the attack? Have you recovered spontaneously? How long did it take to fully recover? How long did it take for you to be back to your usual self? Do you wake up feeling normal or drowsy? Did you seem confused or drowsy after you woke up? Was there anything that seemed to help bring you around? Also, we'll ask about associated symptoms. Did you feel chest pain with the episode in myocardial ischemia? Did you feel that the room is spinning in vertigo? Did you have double vision, difficult speaking, uh, uh, weakness or numbness in one side of the body, like vertebral basilar attack? Also, don't forget to ask about effect of syncope. Did he injure himself? Did he uh, hit himself or uh, hurt himself? Did you fall as a result of loss of consciousness? Have you got any pain anywhere at the moment? Did you see any evidence of injuries during or after you lost consciousness? Did you hit your head at any point during the episode? Did you vomit while unconscious? And was there evidence of any loose objects in your mouth during or immediately after the episode? 
After present history, we go for past history. Do you have any medical condition? Have you had similar fainting attacks before? Did you see a doctor for heart problems before? What did he tell you? Did you do any scans or blood tests? Did you know what was the results? Do you have any history of heart failure, heart disease, heart block or valve disease, seizures, stroke, Parkinson's, diabetes, additions? Have you ever previously undergone any operation or procedures like coronary artery bypass, pacemaker, valve replacement? Then we'll go for medications and allergy. Are you currently taking any medications? What medications are you taking? Have you noticed any side effects from medication you currently take? Are you taking insulin or are you taking medication for high blood glucose or high blood pressure? Have you recently started any new medication? Have you recently stopped any medication? Uh, sometimes withdrawal of gabapentin may precipitate seizure and withdrawal of steroids may precipitate adrenal insufficiency. Then family history. Any similar conditions in your family? Any family member with similar episodes? Do you have any family history of sudden cardiac death? Did anyone in your family suddenly died with no clear cause? I am really sorry to hear that. Do you mind me asking how old was your dad when he died? Do you remember that a medical condition have caused uh, uh, his death? Then for social history, very important to ask about driving. Do you drive a car and advise him to stop driving until we find out what's the problem with uh, uh, his condition? Do you drink alcohol? Uh, how are things at home? Any slippery carpets or floor? Do you take illicit drugs? What is the impact of this syncope on uh, your life? Ideas, concern, and expectation. What do you think might be causing this problem? Are you worried about this being anything in particular? What do you think might be the best plan of action? At the end of the station, we'll go for closure and uh, we'll summarize the main points. May I take a moment to summarize what you have told me so I can check that I have understood everything that's important to you and ask about any outstanding issues. Is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important. So I think uh, you have fainted as a result of your uh, hypertension medication, which causes widening or dilatation of your blood vessels and may decrease the amount of blood going to your brain. I will examine you first and we may need to do some tests in the form of blood test and may do some images to exclude other causes. These can be done on outpatient basis and I will adjust your medication. Then don't forget to counsel on health promotion. There are some advice I need to tell you about. Smoking is not good for your health. And I am going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Check understanding. Is there anything unclear you need me to clarify? And at the end, thank you, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you. And these are another uh, presentation in our free medical courses. Thank you so much.